Hello friends and welcome again to another speed math session. In this session we are going to learn another very effective technique and uh, that is multiplication of two numbers near 100. So first of all let's identify which two numbers are we going to multiply. So numbers near 100 mean means uh, like 97, 98 or even 85 so which is not that far from 100. On the other side as well you can have 101, 107 or 112 how far you can go depends on how much you know tables you have already uh, remembered right so uh, let me explain the technique so you can decide how far you can go for multiplication of such numbers yeah so let's first take case one case one is both are both numbers we are going to multiply two numbers near 100 but less than 100 so numbers are a and b let's say and a and b or a and b are both less than 100 okay so a is less than 100 and b is also less than 100 and both are near 100 so we are not going to take a 49 47 48 51 76 like that no somewhere near 100 that is around 90s and 80s only okay so let's start with an example so here is one example 97 and let's say you are you are to multiply this with 93 okay now see how far 97 is from 100 so it's actually minus 3 away why minus 3 because it is lesser than 100 so write minus 3 like that and how far is 93 clearly it is minus 7 isn't it now what you need to do is you simply add this column or oh, sorry multiply this column so if you multiply this column what will you get so you multiply with signs okay so when you multiply you will get minus 3 into minus 7 21 isn't it now what you need to do is you just do this operation 97 minus 7 right that means you will get what you will get 97 minus 7 is right 9021 so hence the answer is 9021 see such a quick method now you could have done this as well 93 minus 3 as well was 90 so either of that so it will become much clearer if i take another example so let's say example number so this was one let's take example number two so example number two is let's say 94 and 96 near 100 both of them how far is this number from 100 minus 6 away this one minus 4 isn't it now what you need to do as i told you product multiply these two numbers you will get 24 plus 24 and then either of this either you do this one or you do this one so 94 minus 4 if i do i will get 90 so this is the product of these two numbers 9024 you can quickly check okay another example let's take another one let's say 97 or already taken uh, 97 and 96 okay so again how far is this number so minus 7 sorry this is not minus 7 this is minus 3 so this is minus 3 away 100 so minus 3 from 100 and this is minus 4 from 100 isn't it so if you see this is minus 3 into minus 4 is 12 and then 97 minus 4 so 93 so how quickly you can do the calculations now what happens when let's say you don't get a two digit number when you multiply the units place what i mean is example number four it will be clear from here so let's say if you have uh you have to multiply 98 and 99 so how far is 98 minus 2 and 99 minus 1 from 100 right so if you multiply guys minus 2 times minus 1 you will get two but be careful you don't you can't write only single digit you have to place two digits while doing this product now you will ask i am getting only two so what to do so basically then you have to affix a two zero before that two so it becomes zero two not two okay so you have to fill two slots two digits right so two into um uh, one is two and then zero two i have to write and then the rest is same so 98 minus 1 is how much 97 so product is 9702 you can take another example let's say you have 98 and 97 now so how far minus 2 how far minus 3 so if you product it minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6 but you have to write 06 isn't it and then 98 minus 3 95 so this is the product so this is how you can go on calculating now what happens when let's say um you have the the first when you plot you know multiply the units digits then you get more than two digits so let's take that example as well so this is 
fifth, sixth one. So example like 91 times 87. Okay, 91 times 87. How far is this? Minus 9, isn't it? And this one? Minus 13, isn't it? Minus 13 and minus 9, is that okay? So now you multiply this. 13 nines are 117. Okay, so now you have to write the only two digits of 117. 13 nines are 117. You have to write only 17. And let this one be here. Okay, and now do the similar operation. 91 minus 13 will give you 78. Is it it? 91 minus 13 is 78 plus this carry. So 79. So product is 7917. So you understood what to do in case of a uh, multiplication giving you more than two digits. Let's, let's understand with another example. So let's say you are multiplying 93 and 84. Okay. Now how far is this? Minus 7, 200 and this one minus 16, 200. Now let's multiply 16 and 7. Minus 16 times minus 7 is 112. Correct. So you have to remember those tables as well. So 112. So but I will write this one as a carry. I will write the 12, the tens and the units place digits there, like as, as it is, but I will carry the hundredth digit, hundredth place digit. Now do the same thing. So this is easier calculation. So 84 minus 7 is 77. So 77 by this calculation and this one. So hence it becomes 78. So the product is 7812. I hope you understood this part. Okay. Now we will take up what happens when the numbers are greater than 100. So that will take up in the next session.